Mango. Are you in train? Is that the train? Fishermen busy with their nets, and the Albert Edouard jetty where the finest yachts in the world tire. The movie world is everywhere in Cannes. The galleon Neptune from Roman Polanski's film Pirate stopped off in the port of Cannes in 1986 to promote the film during the festival. It stayed there for several years, enabling fans to visit it. It now lies in the port of Genoa in Italy, where it has become a tourist attraction.
worked so perfectly. But of course, the Berlin Festival is also famous for its broad staircase with its red carpet that the biggest stars of the silver screen can be seen melting. On the Esplanade, Georges Pompidou, not far from here, 100 meters from the festival hall, you can walk on the 200 stone slabs of the Avenue of the Stars and see some very famous handprints. Sharon Stone, Harrison Ford, Clint Eastwood, Isabella Journey, Sophia Loren, Martin Scorsese, and many others. In a nutshell, the Cannes Festival accounts for 900 screenings at the Festival Hall, more than 30,000 movie professionals, and 200,000 visitors. The Festival and Congress Center is also the venue... of the stars and the star of the palaces. John Travolta, Liz Taylor, Sharon Stone, Robert De Niro, Sophia Loren, Brad Pitt, Gerard Depardieu, Jean Gabin, James Dean and Lady Di stayed here at one time or another. If the rules of this palace would speak, there would be no shortage of tales to tell. In fact, it was while she was staying at the Carlton in 1955 that Grace Kelly met Prince Renier, whom she married a year later. The hotel likes to cultivate its prestige image, and all the suites at the Carlton are named after movie stars. Alfred Hitchcock's To Catch a Thief, French Kiss with Meg Ryan, and Cat the Twelve, four stars with Jose Garcia and Isabel Carré were all filmed in this hotel. The Carlton is also regularly used for promoting films, like The Fantastic Four in 2007.